I think it's a very exciting day for us because we have a number of uh, students from across Canada testing the three spacecrafts. One spacecraft is from University of Victoria, one from Concordia University in Montreal, and one from University of Manitoba in Winnipeg. I think team are excellent. They work very hard to bring this small spacecraft to be tested, and eventually one or two of them will fly. We have great guys coming in and out of the team all the time um, with varying levels of expertise, but um, all we really need is a bit of commitment from them to, uh, to, look, to come by and learn a lot, and we all learn almost everything to do with this project uh, in the project, with, just with textbooks and internet sources and, and other experts around town. And um, it's just been, it's been really amazing to, to see these people come together and learn so much and accomplish so much from very little background. Now I noticed uh, they're having uh, some little bit of issue there with uh, getting the actual components uh, into the, uh, I guess, the outer shell of the unit. The, the tolerances on this are very, very strict, so they have to have it machined to within plus or minus 0.1 of a millimeter in order for it to fit inside that, uh, that test canister. And they were about two millimeters out, and so no matter how much they've tried, it's just not going to fit in there. Um, it's too snug of a fit to do that. So we have another side panel that gives them a little bit more clearance that they'll be able to exchange and uh, hopefully that'll fit it properly. But uh, just the, the idea that anything we could work on could ever end up either in space or the technology could follow through and end up in space is just uh, it's really something to, to be in awe of. Sweat coming down your forehead. Oh, there